to head into the studio for the day today we have something really exciting happening it's called like journeys patreon i don't know how to say that i completely butchered the name but it's basically like open artist studios so all around this town there are heaps of different artists working in spaces and today all of the studios are open so the public can come in and see all of the different artists work including me and all the other artists that are doing a residency with me. Our studio doors will be open and anyone can come and see how we work. It will be an interesting adjustment because I'm very used to like working by myself in a very like secluded environment and I don't really like to share my work with people <laughs> until it's done. A little higher, a little lower than we can. A really big sink there. Here are all shelves where people have been keeping their clay and then works in progress as well two different artists who are working down here where those chairs are and you can go downstairs two big kilns and one little kiln on these shelves we have a lot of kiln accessories so these are the things that you use for to prop up the shelves that you put your pieces on and you sort of stack them in the kiln. This is a spray booth, which I have not used yet, but it's to apply different glazes. We have two wheels down here, a slab roller, a lot of different shelves and easels. And then there's another table where someone works down here. that before everyone arrives I would quickly show you some of the things that I'm working on at the moment so right now I've done all of like the clay making for the residency because we need to get the kiln on and so then I can like start adding color and things like that so I've been making a lot of plates that look just like this I just think that a simple plate shape you can never go wrong and then I'm gonna definitely add some colors and some of my classic designs as well as new designs to these. I also made this little Pora, which I thought was really cute for like olive oil. Um, and it's like pinched. So you just like take off the lid and then you just pour your little olive oil or salad dressing or sauce like maple syrup on pancakes. I thought would be really cute as well. I really like this one and I like the little lid. It's like a hat, it's funny. I've also made some jars. So I really like this one. Like for jewelry, bedside table to just keep things safe. That is the lid. Very simple and cute. I think I'm gonna add some flowers to this one. What else? Oh, I also, I also have this bowl and I have a few different bowls like this that I've made in just a classic shape so I can paint with a few different funky patterns. I really like these. Okay, my documentary, take one and action. I love it. In the land of lemons.
like I get more. working on a tomato series I started painting a plate which I think I'm gonna call like goddess of tomatoes or something like that because I imagine her to be this lady that's just watching over all of the French tomato fields making sure that each bite is sweet and plump and juicy I have a newfound love and fixation with tomatoes I've been having them every single day they are at all of the markets here and they are just the most incredible tomatoes I've ever had in my life. I don't know how I'm gonna go back to Australia and have the tomatoes there because here they're just so special. Like I've never been the kind of person that can just eat tomatoes on their own, just snacking on them, but I've been doing that. I've been having them every day, either just with bread or in sauces with pasta, pizza, and they are so delicious. So that is my tomatoes and my current fixation at the moment. You will definitely be able to tell that from my work.